I was diagnosed with this Parkinson's disease since the year 2009 and I had gone for treatment to God in Gauti and in CMC below. And then I knew about the disease and I didn't know at first it was going to affect my movements at all. But then the doctor had explained to me clearly about the progress. It is a prog it's a progressive disease and it is going to affect my movements and all. It was only in the last two or three years that last year that it was very severe. I couldn't move about, I couldn't get up from bed. I needed help from my sisters and my relatives at home. We had to, even while turning and sleeping, I had to ask them for help and sometimes Getting up from bed was very difficult. Parkinson's disease is a disease which affects the internal portion of the brain, which we call as the basal ganglia. In this condition, these patients develop shakiness of their hands, they have difficulty in walking, they walk with the stooped forward posture. Medicines are very effective in treating this condition, but when the disease takes a long duration, for example, four to five years, then the side effects of the medicine become more problematic than the disease itself. It is at this time that deep brain stimulation surgery comes in a big way to improve the condition of the patient and also to improve the quality of life of these patients. My sister has been uh, diagnosed with uh, juvenile onset uh, Parkinson's disease since 2009 and her disease has progressed very fast and uh, there was a time when we had lost all hope but uh, we're grateful to God because he's opened this way and uh, she was not able to uh, even walk properly. Her gait had changed a lot. Then again, when we went back in September, Dr. Is Mahanta, Ajaya Mahanta from Dispur Hospital, she advised me to come. And she just suggested Dr. Aditya's name and after Miss Hospital, that was how I came to know about this. The patient Misha came to us with Parkinson's disease. She had been having these symptoms for more than seven years. And what she basically came to us with is that despite taking Sindopa, uh, she was not very happy with her quality of life. So the, the major reason was that with a single dose of medicine, she was only getting relief for two hours. And that is why she had had to take the medicine four to five times every day and after every dose she was getting some relief and the relief was going away after two hours. So she was caught in this peculiar cycle of on and off, on and off, which is a phenomena what we call when there are so many pronounced fluctuations in the effect of the patient. I had come to know about this uh, deep brain stimulation a long time ago. I read in some magazine graffiti I, that I used to get the enchilon telegraph graffiti and later on I used to watch in the YouTube I knew the procedure so I watched it before coming I knew what they were going to do and everything whatever the procedure how it was going to be the method of treating this pronounced fluctuations and the other problem which she was having is abnormal movement called dyskinesia so for these two problems, we offered her deep brain stimulation surgery. Now she was anyways a patient of young onset Parkinson disease and most of the patients of young onset Parkinson disease in which the Parkinson disease starts before 40 years of age do land up needing DBS surgery. Now in her case, we carried out the procedure. It went very well. In DBS surgery, what we do is we put two wires in a particular part of the brain which is called the subthalamic nucleus. We use a very special technique to do that which is called uh, stereotaxy in which we guide the particular electrodes using a frame which is fixed on top of the head. After surgery she had a very very good relief and all her symptoms were much relieved and in fact her medicine requirement also came down very drastically and she is very happy with the procedure. After the D DBS that she has just had recently, it's just a matter of three or four days now 
but I can see so much of improvement. Her gait has improved a lot. Her tremors have uh, re reduced to uh, a great extent and uh, she's able to sleep well. She has been having insomnia for a long time and she's been able to sleep very soundly now. Post deep brain stimulation surgery, on the second day we were able to make her walk without support. She is doing almost all her activities on her own and for the first time in the last two years she has walked and uh, tied her clothes you know, uh, she has made the uh, house for the first time. She's doing her activities as a normal person does. So in properly selected patients with an adequate team, the deep brain stimulation surgery for Parkinson's disease can be a game changer in their life. This is not the first time that we have done this surgery. We have an experience of more than 350 such surgeries with our surgeon uh, across the teams. And I just want to thank God and the team of uh, doctors and every supporting staff here in Artemis Hospital for what they have done. The doctors were good. The treatment was also good. I am so happy. Mm -hmm.